The St. Louis Chess Club hosted its first U.S. Junior Closed Championship in 2010, simultaneously with the U.S. Women's Championship. After the 10-player round-robin completed, it was 18-year-old international master Sam Shankland of Berkeley, California, who defeated Parker Zhao and Ray Robson in an Armageddon playoff to win the title. The St. Louis Chess Club hosted its second U.S. Junior Closed Championship in 2011. After the 10-player round-robin completed, it was 16-year-old National Master Gregory Young of San Francisco, who won an incredible seven games with one draw to win the title. The St. Louis Chess Club hosted its third U.S. Junior Closed Championship in 2012. Sixteen players competed in separate round robins, with the winner of each block competing in the final. The top-rated 19-year-old international master Mark Arnold of New York City defeated Alec Getz in a two-game finale to win the title. The St. Louis Chess Club hosted its fourth U.S. Junior Clubs Championship in 2013. After the 10-player round-robin completed, it was 17-year-old international master Daniel Naraditsky of Foster City, California, who finished undefeated with four wins and five draws to win the title. The St. Louis Chess Club hosted its fifth U.S. Junior Closed Championship in 2014. After the 10-player round-robin completed, it was 16-year-old Grandmaster Caden Trofe of West Jordan, Utah, who scored an impressive 7 out of 9 points to win the title. The St. Louis Chess Club hosted its sixth U.S. Junior Closed Championship in 2015. After the 10-player round-robin completed, it was 15-year-old international master Akshat Chandra of Iselin, New Jersey, who scored an impressive 7 out of 9 points to win the title. Because then I have to, you know, grind it out in a pawn-up end game, that's boring. So I just, I felt like I was just promoting my force here, I didn't see mm -hmm. any defense. That's always a nice finishing yeah. move, Queen takes D1. Yeah. I went into this tournament with the attitude like I want to win it because I want to play guys like Caruana and Wesley and all and Nakamura. So I, I wanted to win from the start. So uh, I'm thrilled that I well, managed to do it. You were first place from yeah. the start. You did a good job. Cool. The St. Louis Chess Club hosted its seventh U.S. Junior Clothes Championship in 2016. After the 10-player round robin completed, it was 15-year-old Grandmaster Jeffrey Zhang of Capel, Texas, who won the title. Zhang was the highest rated player in the world under 16 years of age. Now, talking about your rating, what are we looking at? We're looking at 2700 and sometime soon? Uh, I'll try not to think about that, just uh, play, play my best chess. That's what uh, I want to do. Well, to be honest, I was really impressed with uh, all the players uh, for their tremendous fighting spirit and what they bring to the game. And, uh, the junior players are known to uh, play really fighting chess, and that's what everybody loves to see. And uh, for me personally, I really love to see. In 2017, the U.S. Junior Championship was held simultaneously with the U.S. Girls Junior Championship for the first time. 14-year-old international master Awander Liang of Madison, Wisconsin, won the junior title. I wonder if this is one of uh, the biggest results in your career, in your young career. Uh, well, the next term I'm playing is the Millennium Match, so uh, my journey in St. Louis is still not over, I guess. <laughs> and I still have a lot, of, a lot more chess to play, so I guess I'll focus on that first. 
14-year-old woman international master Akshita Gorty of Chantilly, Virginia cleared the other girls by a point and a half to win the girls' title. A dominant performance. Uh, what is going to be uh, your next tournament, Akshita? Um, actually, I don't know, because I just played three straight tournaments um, in a row, so I'm taking a break, and then I'll see what's my next tournament. In 2018, the U.S. Junior Championships returned to St. Louis with their usual round-robin format. 15-year-old Grandmaster Awunder Liang of Madison, Wisconsin won the junior title for the second consecutive year. Well, I mean, coming into the tournament, uh, I didn't realize that the tournament has actually, the U.S. Juniors has actually gotten a lot stronger in the past few years. Um, I think a few years ago we had no GMs uh, that year. I think actually at one, uh, there were, I think, no GMs in the field, and this year we have five GMs. So uh, it's certainly gotten a lot stronger, I think. Um, I mean, I think the U.S. Junior scene is very promising. 14-year-old FIDE master Carissa Yip of Andover, Massachusetts won the girls' title. Well, yeah, I've played in this tournament for like five years, and I'm like usually one of the top seeds, but I do really badly, so I'm glad this year it's better. And are you looking forward to playing in, hopefully playing in the U.S. Women's Championship next year if the school doesn't get in the way? Yeah. In 2019, the U.S. Junior Championships were held simultaneously with the inaugural U.S. Senior Championship. 16-year-old Awunder Liang of Madison, Wisconsin had to defeat Nico Cheka in a playoff to earn his third consecutive junior title. Uh, and now he's yeah. looking yeah. to that's a win for Awunder Liang. What a game! What an epic game! What about this move, Queen F7 Shrek? It was, I think, probably the most difficult event I've played in. Um, in the previous years, you know, generally a lot of the top guys were, you know, we were just trading wins or making draws mm -hmm. and, you know, just kind of staying around. But, um, like, when you have a player like Nicholas making a score like 6 out of 7, I mean, I didn't really have a choice except to try and play for a win every game. And that's what I think makes this U.S. Juniors really special. 15-year-old FIDE master Carissa Yip of Andover, Massachusetts, outright won her second consecutive girls title. Well, I want to ask you, Chris, just how does this change your life now that you're going to be playing the U.S. Women's Championship? Um, I mean, I was kind of expecting to play U.S. Women's uh -huh. anyway, because I think I qualify by rating. But um, it's nice to like have it be guaranteed, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The 2020 U.S. Junior Championships were round-robin tournaments with a rapid time control held online due to COVID-19. 19-year-old Grandmaster John Burke of Webster Groves, Missouri shocked the chess world by defeating heavy favorite Jeffrey Zhang in an Armageddon playoff to win the junior title. Is he gonna flag? They're both he on the edge. He he's only got one and he's lost. No. Jeffrey Zhang has lost and John Burke has won the game and is the new U.S. Junior Champion. Yeah, even before the last round today, I thought I had very little chance of making it to a playoff, but I would play and see what happened, and I saw that Jeffrey's position wasn't that great, so uh, I was getting more optimistic, and then when I won, I was uh, pretty surprised, but also excited. And it's, it's different this year because, because it's online, but it still feels, still feels great. I mean, to be honest, I really would have preferred to win a different way um, than I did in the end, but of course, still, um, it's a great feeling. 16-year-old international master Carissa Yip of Andover, Massachusetts outright won her third consecutive girls' title. And, yeah, think and that's it? Bishop. Think that's that's it? Light squared bishop. Oh, and actually Rochelle just resigned, I was just going to say. And yeah. we do crown Carissa Yip as our U.S. Junior Girls Champion. She's done it three times. The rapid time control is something that I'm not really used to and probably something a lot of players aren't used to as well. So there is like a lot of um, blenders and stuff, but I feel like I kind of got the hang of it in the last day. Do you analyze more when you're looking at um, a board with a real set in pieces or on the screen? 
I like I prefer in real life chess because it like does help me feel uh, more focused and stuff. Uh, but usually when I study at home, I just use like my computer screen just because it's a lot more convenient. In 2021, the St. Louis Chess Club will again host the U.S. Junior and U.S. Junior Girls Chess Championships. We look forward to seeing the achievements of the nation's brightest rising chess stars.